Dumpster Pro's Charleston plays a crucial role in providing industrial trash services for the maritime community by offering efficient and reliable waste management solutions tailored to the unique needs of warehousing industrial maritime operations. Here with me today to talk about Dumpster Pro's involvement with Wounded Nature Working Veterans and how they are promoting a cleaner and safer environment for the maritime community is Bobby Wazorek, the founder and CEO of Dumpster Pros. Welcome back. Good morning. Um, so this is our segment, Trash to Treasures. Um, we've talked about it before. This is something you're sponsoring. We're helping out um, the organizations in our community and bringing awareness to all the good that they do. Um, talk to me about what you do to help the environment with Dumpster Pros. So one of the organizations that we're gonna start off with in this segment is Wounded Nature. And what they do is they clean up the port the waterways, the rivers, and the ocean of all the debris. It could be boats, it could be um, barrels, 55 gallon drums, whatever it is, they go through and they clean it up. And in partnership with them, we provide them with the dumpsters for all the trash removal. Mm -hmm. I can I can guess that you guys have a big role in, in you know caring for our waterways, caring for an environment, dealing with all the trash um, that you deal with. We do. Um, we're members of the Maritime Association here locally. Um, which is pretty much all of them, anything, any business related in industry, commercial warehousing that has to do with the maritime and the oceans and the ports. Awesome. Well, Bobby, we're about to hear from um, Wounded Nature. So thank you so much again for Trash to Treasures. And let's hear all about what Wounded Nature uh, does for our community. Thank you. And we are now here with the CEO of Wounded Nature Working Veterans, Rudy Sosha. Welcome, Rudy. Thank you. I appreciate you inviting me. Of course, of course. So we have spent some time together actually out on the waterways when I was a reporter here at Live 5. Um, I've gotten to see the amazing work that you do in person. Um, yes. it's, it's crazy the work that you guys do. Can you tell the community if they don't know what Wounded Nature Working Veterans is, uh, to tell us what that is. We're a 501c3 uh, nonprofit and we work to remove the large debris items off of coastal areas and out of the tidal marshes in the area. Uh, a lot of our work's focused on derelict and abandoned boats because they're so large. Every time we pull a 30-foot sailboat out of the coastal waters, it represents about 9,000 pounds of fiberglass, lead, and debris items that really just don't belong there. Mm -hmm. And usually these boats start breaking apart and then they end up poisoning and contaminating the seafood stocks that are right around it. Mm -hmm. So doing this is good for our um, our environment, our tourism industry. Talk about all the benefits of taking yes, these Yes, well, of you know, the tourism industry, it's very important. I think that South Carolina has a beautiful coastline and unfortunately, through paintings and old movies, whatever, it's become sort of, you expect to see that relic sitting up on a beach. Mm -hmm. Well, back in the day, they used to build wooden boats and it really didn't contaminate the whole area. Now they build fiberglass boats. The interior is made of foam. They've got lead keels, they've got lead batteries. And so once they start breaking apart and decomposing, they contaminate a large area all the way around them. And then a lot of the old docks that were built back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, they were, the wood was soaked in arsenic and then it was coated in creosote. Mm. And so wood that's 50 years old, old dock pieces there coated in creosote, that wood still contains enough arsenic to kill 100 adults. Wow. Uh, so uh, it's very important to get rid of this to pull this material out of there. And so we not only get, you know, we improve that look for the tourism industry, but more important, seafood represents protein for the low income people. Mm -hmm. And then it also represents a large industry here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the sports fishing yeah. industry as well. Um, you know, the shallow water in, in, uh, um, in coastal mm -hmm. uh, charter boats that are out there. Mm -hmm. And when you drive over the Ashley River Bridge or you're driving on Lockwood, you can see some of these boats, these yes. derelict boats that are out there. Do we know how many are still out there in our local waterways? Yes, we do. We have, uh, between us and, and DNR, we've uh, just recently put together a list of what it will take. 
um, combined between everyone that's been working together on the problem statewide, we've removed in excess of 200 derelict boats, and that includes some of the old shrimp boats that were out there and other tourism boats. Now we're down to some of the harder to remove vessels, which include uh, barges, um, industrial. We have a, over in Shipyard Creek, we have, a, I think it's a 90 foot Navy vessel. It's been there since 1947. Mm -hmm. And um, the total amount is about $5 million to remove what's left. And that's, that's the entire state from Myrtle Beach all the way down to Hilton Head. But if we get these remaining boats out and we get that remaining large debris out, we'll be the first state on the East Coast to have removed all of their derelict oh, boats and incredible. remove all of their debris. So we're kind of, we're, we're I want to say we're very close, but $5 million is a lot of money um, to go ahead and find someone that's willing to, to donate the money and be mm -hmm. the key sponsor to get these boats out of there. So the community can help by donating. The, the community can always help by donating. Money's always our, our biggest um, holding uh, that's the thing that keeps us from moving forward mm -hmm. is th there's plenty of stuff out there for us to remove but it does cost money and that's why we really appreciate dumpster pros there's been many a times that if it weren't for dumpster pros donating their boat and the landfill supporting their efforts uh, we wouldn't have been able to get a boat out mm -hmm. in this process of removing those 200 boats that uh, were done statewide. Mm -hmm. And how can people donate? Uh, they can just visit our website, which is woundednature.org, and any donations appreciate it. Uh, even the smallest donation will buy several gallons of gas to get us out on the water. Well, Rudy, thank you so much for all you're doing for our community. Again, I've seen it firsthand. Um, you're truly cleaning up all of our waterways, which is so great to see. So and, thank you so much. And thank you for supporting us. Of and course. thank you for being out there with us. Of so. course. That was fun. That yeah. was fun that one day. <laughs> Rudy, thank you.